Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about pediatric liver, gallbladder and bile ducts ultrasound. We will look at hepatobiliary cases involving newborns and children. We will compare the normal images with the pathologies. The first pathology involves the bile ducts. Biliary atresia is a rare pathology in which there is absence of normal intrahepatic and extrahepatic bile ducts. Newborns can present with jaundice two to three weeks after birth. It is a rare pathology. On ultrasound, one specific feature is the triangular cord sign. It is a hyperechoic triangular shaped area anterior to the portal vein. This is how it looks like. There is a thickened triangular shaped hyperechoic area anterior to the right portal vein in this image. It is approximately at this location. You can see a hyperechoic prominent area at this location. This area usually measures greater than 4 millimeters. It is a sign of biliary atresia. A cholidocal cyst type 1 is a cylindrical or secular dilation of common bile duct. An anechoic cystic structure will be seen at the location of the common bile duct at the liver hilum. The cyst will also give posterior acoustic enhancement. Another sign of biliary atresia is the gallbladder ghost triad. It refers to a small atratic gallbladder measuring 1.9 cm or less. In a neonate, the normal gallbladder will have distinct echogenic mucosal layer and a fibromuscular layer. This is a normal appearance of the gallbladder in a newborn, but over here we can see a small size gallbladder and it has irregular or lobular contour. There is absence of a distinct echogenic mucosal layer. This is another image showing a gallbladder ghost triad sign. An irregular contour is seen and there is absence of a distinct echogenic mucosal layer. This gallbladder measures less than 1.9 centimeters. In some cases, the gallbladder is too small to be seen on ultrasound. This is a normal image of the liver in transverse plane in a child. And over here we have a fatty liver case, hepatic stetosis. Increased echogenicity of the liver parenchyma is seen here with some sparing in this region. This was due to cystic fibrosis. In children, fatty liver can occur due to cystic fibrosis. The normal craniochordal length ranges from 4 to 9 centimeters approximately in 0 to 3 month infants from 3 to 6 months of age. The liver's craniochordal length is usually between 5 to 10 centimeters approximately and from 1 to 2.5 years the range is between 7 and 11 centimeters approximately and in children between 3 to 5 years old the craniochordal length can be between 7 to 12 centimeters approximately these are just approximate measurements there can be some variability in some patients and over here we have another case of fatty liver in a child due to cystic fibrosis. 
increased echogenicity of the liver is seen. In children, liver cirrhosis can occur due to biliary atresia, hepatitis B or C, Wilson's disease, in which there is copper buildup in the liver, glycogen storage diseases, and various other causes. On ultrasound, irregular liver surface or surface nodularity will be seen. The liver will have a heterogeneous appearance. Liver cirrhosis can also cause ascites. We can see anechoic fluid surrounding the liver. This image shows a normal gallbladder in a child in longitudinal plane. The image on the right is a case of polylithiasis or gallstones. In children, gallstones can occur due to hemolytic anemia, cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, obesity, blood transfusions, etc. Hyperechoic gallstones will be seen within the gallbladder with associated posterior acoustic shadowing. This is a transverse view of the normal gallbladder and here is a transverse view showing gallstones. Hyperechoic stones are seen within the gallbladder. Gallbladder sludge refers to thickened echogenic bile which is mobile. The sludge will not have any posterior acoustic shadowing. Its echogenicity is less than that of gallstones. Sludge usually occurs in children receiving total parenteral nutrition, in which the patient does not eat or drink through the mouth. Instead, they are given nutrition directly into the bloodstream using IV fluids. This is a transverse view showing gallbladder sludge. We can see echogenic thickened bile with no posterior shadowing. A hemangioma occurring in infants is given the term infantile hepatic hemangioma. In this case, there is a large heterogeneous hyperechoic mass in the liver. The mass has some microcalcifications as well. Hepatomegaly was observed in this case. This is another case of infantile hepatic hemangioma. There is a large heterogeneous mass in the liver. Hepatomegaly was also observed in this case. The hemangiomas will show increased vascularity on color Doppler. Small focal hemangiomas are also seen in some infants. They appear just like in adults, a hyperechoic, well-defined mass in the liver. Multiple hemangiomas can also occur in infants. Multiple hemangiomas usually appear hypoechoic. Here we can see multiple hypoechoic lesions in the liver. This is usually the appearance of multiple infantile hemangiomas. A mesenchymal hamartoma is a benign tumor which appears as a multiseptated mass with multiple cysts and it usually presents in children under 2 years. Although it is a rare benign tumor, there is some risk of malignancy. A hepatoblastoma is the most common primary malignant tumor in children. It usually presents in children under 4 years. It also appears as an echogenic heterogeneous mass. There is some overlap between this appearance and that of a large hemangioma, so it is somewhat of a non-specific finding. This is another case of a hepatoblastoma. 
a large echogenic mass is seen in the liver. In this case of hepatoblastoma, the mass is heterogeneous and somewhat hypoechoic as compared to the previous images. Some internal vascularity on color Doppler is noted. A liver abscess usually appears as a well-defined heterogeneous mass and on color Doppler peripheral vascularity will be seen. This is the heterogeneous well-defined mass and we can see vascularity at its border. So this is peripheral vascularity. These features are usually seen in a liver abscess. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.